Yeah, good morning everybody. Eric here from Nomadic Fanatic. Hope you guys are doing well. Uh, as you can see, I went ahead and got the 10 by 20 blue shed from Graceland Portable Buildings, and it is currently being delivered right now without me uh, to Kevin's house. So Kevin's sending me some video. He's filming all this for me. Uh, he's gonna let me store the shed there until I close on my property. That way I can start putting some stuff in there and secure things up. At least I got the building, but uh, Kevin's there, and uh, the Moreland's are delivering it there. They have delivered the other three buildings that are on the property there at Kevin's from, uh, I think it's White Mountain Shed Moveable. Anyway, I'll show a picture here later, but I am excited, guys. I will be uploading this video with some Nomad Internet link below in the video description. Jerry, he's moving some block around we may need. So I'm the cameraman for Nomadic Fanatic. Be sure to uh, follow me at Camper Van Kevin on uh, YouTube as well. <laughs> They are so cute, too. Is he shedding? I don't know. See the side of his face. See how big he is. Oh, yeah, he's he's peeling. He's a big boy. Sometimes we get little fat ones. See, he's got some stuff coming off. Let's see if sometimes you can make them go to sleep. They like their heads being pet. <laughs> not right now. He's like, you just caught me. I'm not going to go to sleep. Eric, we made sure it's nice and square with the, the road right here. Please tell Aja, I said, happy birthday. She made my 50th very special up at Cinder Hills in Flagstaff. You got some rocks to move when you get back. That just makes my back hurt. <laughs> if you ever do convert this into a house, even though both the purple tiny house and this building are 10 by 20, a uh, four foot of mine of the 20 is outside porch. You've actually got more living space than I do. Okay, we're here are the Moreland's uh, White Mountain Shed delivery. Yes, sir. They've got Eric's building delivered here, a little 10 by 20. Uh -huh. And you and you were telling me that it was not a repo. It's not a repo. It's actually a cancellation. So that means that somebody had it built and then decided that they did not want it. So mm -hmm. it is a fresh, brand new building and he for got him. A, he got a heck of a deal. He did. Oh, yeah. Good. Nice. Wonderful. And people may not know if uh, this is on Eric's channel that you guys also have a YouTube channel. We do. Yeah. You're just now starting. You're just getting a little content and getting mm -hmm. going. Yeah. But these are really good people. And your channel name is called The Morelands. The M O R E L A N S. Yep, which right. is our last name. So, yeah. the Moreland's. Please like and subscribe. That'd be great. Right, right. And they delivered all my buildings out here at Base Camp. They're good people, and I now consider them friends. Yep. Hallelujah. So, so all right. God is good. Okay. Bye Thanks, bye. Eric. Bye bye, Eric. See you soon. How cool is that? They seem like awesome people. I'm sure they won't be the last shed that they deliver to either uh, Kevin or I, so I'll see them eventually and show them the kitties. And I will definitely subscribe to your channel, The Moreland's. Thanks, guys. I'll, pu I'll put some links below in the video description, guys. Also, if you want to check out Kevin's channel and, and The Moreland's channel there. It's just really strange. So I'm going to be packing it up and heading back over there, and then I'm going to tell you more about my plans this week uh, when we get parked. All right. Bye, guys. Said all, said all my goodbyes to everyone who was awake today. Not everybody was awake. Just trying to get that other thing on Tater Talk to click. It just clicked. Okay. So, as I mentioned in my last video, I'm going to miss everybody. I really am. But, you know, I got I to gotta go take care of this shed that was just delivered. And, and um, 
then we're gonna be leaving the state of Arizona this week. This week, I know. I. So here's Carolyn, RB Rebel Girl. She's gonna be following me out to Kevin's. I think we're gonna have three Carolyns at camp. I'm pretty sure. So, and then Ed from uh, Nomad Ranch, he invited me to stay anytime also on his property, so. Woo! I'm be doing a lot of driving this week. A lot of driving. So, I'm very used to this uh, drive back out to the main road here. I'm just gonna take it really, really easy. And uh, I'll get back here in a little bit, guys. Look off to our right. Twin arrows. I wonder if Carolyn will follow me. I'm gonna go back on to Route 66 over here. I only saw one arrow. I've traveled along this stretch of old school Route 66 many times uh, in my travels along the road, but the only thing that I, I will say is that it doesn't seem like anything new gets added very often. Sometimes stuff gets restored, but oftentimes you come back and make another trip and things look completely different. And I believe that Twin Arrows up here is down to Solo Arrow. And the name of the city is Twin Arrow. This whole city is named after these Twin Arrows, which we're gonna find out here in just a minute. Unbelievable. There is only one arrow standing. Oh, let me get out, guys. Look, the second one's on the ground right now. Check it out, guys. Only one arrow left. Twin arrows and it's only one. The other one fell down. Well, it, it fell down or was pulled down or knocked down, pushed down. It's here. Let's take a peek here. Oh, you know, I think it just rotted away. That's what I think. I think it just, it's been here for so long that it just rotted right away and fell down. Dang, I wish they would come out and at least save this, like put it somewhere until they can restore it. But I don't know if you can see by the uh, trading post over there, I, I don't think they really care. This was probably the old RV pumps of the early 1900s. <laughs> okay, I, I don't know, I don't know. And there's the tanks out there. Well, that's really sad, man. Another day we're gonna come out here and that arrow will be gone as well. Well, you know, I just noticed though, somebody painted, graffitied a nice cool little eyeball there, like a hawk eye there. That's pretty cool. All right, let's get back on the road. All right, this is the Walmart we're going to use. <laughs> this is not an anti-RV thing. This is an anti-truck thing, 13 foot clearance. I will probably fit. I'm pretty sure Carolyn's shorter than I am, uh, but it's not, it's not to keep RVs out, because as you can see, there are clearly RVs in here. Uh, it's to keep, it's to keep trucks from loading up the whole lot. I'm pretty sure, right? Because trucks are 14.2. Most RVs are under 14 feet. So yeah, get some grocery shopping done here, stock up, and then uh, we'll dump the tanks, get water, head to Kevin's. This is new. He has never done this. He has never won. He literally jumped up here while we're driving, snuggled himself right into my arm and decided that he needed to be right here right now. It, it's okay right now because it's not too windy, but sometimes I need both hands and I can't hold you. All right. All right. <laughs> Just got Carolyn in and parked and now it is my turn. And I finally get to see my new tiny house. Well, the temporary location. All right, check it out, guys. So I'm gonna pull in differently than when I was here the first time. Look how bright blue that is. Ah, it's awesome. It's awesome. So I'm gonna nose in because I got stuff I gotta I gotta work on. Uh, Okay, more, more in just a second. Let me get parked. All right, and there's uh, Carolyn. I'm, I'm going to have to number all the Carolyns because there's three of them. There's Carolyn's RV there, and she can, has continued to work. Uh, I've only been gone four days, and she cleared out all this around the tree and added rock around it, and it's really pretty, actually. And there's my blue tiny house. Well, I guess you can't call it a tiny house yet. Right now, it's still a shed. 
and still a garage shed and it's it's very very blue doesn't quite match the stripe on, on my RV there, but um, sitting level, and uh, this will be her temporary spot here until I close on my property, or maybe it'll just sit here through the winter uh, with some stuff. Let's go inside. So Alyssa and Jerry got it all pretty much really, really well leveled and lined up with the road there. Uh, so I feel safe with everything um, on the inside. Oh look, Carolyn just made me a step. Thank you for that. It's very nice of you. So on, on the inside, I am going to kind of store things in, in a category, you know, like all my Mickey stuff will be here. Uh, other things that I need for the seasonal stuff, like, like winter or summer stuff, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have it all very carefully organized in here. And then one day, this whole building will move to my property down the road, but it's, it's weather tight. Um, it's not insulated yet, so if it's going to be in, in, in the 20s this winter, it is likely to get cold in here, so it's just something to uh, think about. But yeah, I'm going to be making trips from here, the RV tonight, and getting it loaded up. So the plan in here, um, I am going to start going through all these bins up here and my guitar and uh, just stuff that weighs a lot, like that big fan. And um, stuff from the RV uh, is going to go into my storage unit here at Kevin's here to free up some space inside the RV. I'll also be going through these cupboards up here to take a look at things. And the plan is to be back in Illinois at my least rented shop there in East Alton in just a few days um, with a very barely loaded RV, uh, the motorcycle in the car, not bringing that with me. I am going to tow uh, Black Betty, my Harley, and my trailer back behind the RV. The trailer's also going to be full of stuff, uh, as well as the RV space in here. Now, I also thought about utilizing the bed for, for boxes if I needed. I just don't know what all it's going to be. Um, I could turn this into a bed so that all the whole backside of the RV is packed with stuff. I could turn this into a bed, or we could turn that back into a bed and use this space for storage too. So I got a lot of ideas, and it just depends on uh, how quickly I can sort out all of my belongings and get all of my Mickey Mouse and Harley and camel stuff and all my neon signs packed up and secured, loaded up. Um, I did rent a storage unit here in Sholo also. They're really hard to come by and for some reason a 6x10x8 by by popped open. I snagged it up so I've got this storage unit. I've also got the entire 6x12 Harley trailer as storage around the, the Harley, obviously, uh, and I've got the 6x12 rented one here, 6x10 rented here in town, so I am going to be busy tonight, that's for sure. All right, making really good progress, and I have already decided how I'm going to do things, so you can see I've got all the cushions, and the, and, and the table has been removed, as well as pretty much everything from up top has been removed, so there can be boxes and storage and stuff there. Uh, I think I'm going to utilize this space for boxes here, and then boxes here, and then, hear me out, I'm going to bungee my 75-inch TV. It'll be right here up against this, sitting about this high, you know? <laughs> Big 75-inch, it'll be bungeed against this, holding the boxes from falling this way um, as, as we're driving, okay? Technically, I could even cut the bed in half if I really wanted to and just sleep on half the bed and have boxes on, on one side or something, but I haven't decided it for sure. But I have decided that I'm, I'm gonna even leave early. I'm not rushed, I'm taking it easy. I'm not even breaking a sweat doing any of this, but I'm gonna leave tomorrow night, actually, and uh, do at least six hours of night driving, uh, at least get into New Mexico, maybe just inside Texas. We'll just see how things go tomorrow night. And then, uh, and then I'll get to get to my shop a little earlier. Yeah. Got the uh, water heater on. I'm getting ready to take a shower. Just got out of uh, Kevin's uh, hot tub there. Man, I, I miss my hot tub. That is incredibly relaxing. <laughs> Once I settle down, and I don't know when that's going to be, uh, wh wherever my tiny house and RV sit, um, I am also going to have a hot tub uh, off, off grid. An, an off grid hot tub, for sure. But. <laughs> I'm getting way ahead of myself. I have some incredibly exciting travel plans for the rest of the fall and winter. So <laughs> let me take care of what I got to take care of. Um, I'm going to go ahead and end this video 
where? Right here, as Kevin would say. And I get back to you as we get on the road in my next video. Have a good weekend, guys. Bye-bye.